Welcome back to the pregame show. Here I am, Rob Massey, alongside Matt Tonus from the Plymouth Pilgrims and Tim Scott from the Newport Gulls. This is the Broadcasters Roundtable. And, gents, well, I had the night off, but what a terrible night to miss a ball game at Cardines Field. Twelve innings, a spectacular playoff game between the Newport Gulls and the Plymouth Pilgrims. And Matt, we'll start with you. A game, another five-run lead for the Pilgrims that was lost late in that ball game something that we've seen in the playoffs in this series. Yeah, the Pilgrims have really struggled with late inning and middle inning pitching so far, keeping a lead. They've been able to get it, but not able to keep it. They had a 5 nothing lead and a 6-1 lead, but they let it slip away, gave up three runs in the ninth inning. But thankfully, the offense was able to come back and pick them up in extra innings. Aaron Foss has pitched very, very well in relief. Somebody that we were not expecting to see out of the bullpen, at least not in game two, unless absolutely necessary. It was absolutely necessary in extra innings. Yeah, Foss has been hit around a little bit by Newport this year in two starts, but he came in in relief, got into trouble, but pitched his way out of it thanks to the defense of Dan Swain. And it was, and I talked to him after the game, and he just said he was in there just trying to be confident, having confidence in his uh, defense, being able to pick him up. Tim Scott, the Newport Gulls have been in this situation before where they've been down by a lot with the Ocean State Waves, came back, tied the ball game, ended up walking off against the Waves. Against the Pilgrims, it was no such luck in 12 innings, but the Gulls did not seem phased. Yeah, it was a great game overall by the Gulls. We had a lot of great offensive contributions from Will Smith. Also, Shea Donlin all came through. It was a great game offensively. The bullpen, Mark McCoy had seven innings of relief. The goals coming into this game with a really renewed attitude and a motivation to take this tonight. And tonight, game three, everybody is available for both staffs. The bullpen for the Gulls has been more work than the bullpen for the Pilgrims. Is that something that the Gulls are worried about? Well, we're really looking to get a great start tonight out of Brett Hanowich. Hanowich has the uh, audacity to go six, seven innings every start. And I feel like we can get him some good outing tonight at seven innings, and I think our bullpen will do just fine. Matt, Thomas Jenkins is a record-setting pitcher for the Plymouth Pilgrims in the NECBL this year. Lowest ERA in league history, 0.41. Only two earned runs over something like 39 innings pitched. And he is going to be getting the ball tonight. The first time in franchise history the Newport Gulls have seen the Pilgrims ace. Well, uh, Jenkins pitched in the actually, uh, he came in relief in the first game the teams played against each other, but only an inning. First time he's starting against them. And Jenkins, uh, he's been great this year, and he just needs to keep it going tonight. Just throw six, seven solid innings. I know that's a little bit hard to ask against a lineup as potent as the Gulls is, but I think Jenkins can do it and lead the Pilgrims to a victory tonight. Tim Scott, we are going to play 51 innings uh, at the minimum, 54 possibly if the Pilgrims are down and we play a full nine. What are the keys to the game for the Newport Gulls to take game three and move on to the NECBL championship? Well, my best advice for the Gulls is just to stay composed. I mean, we lost last night on extra innings. There were a few calls that could have gone either way, but in the end of the day, we really just got to stay focused, play well on the field, really back up with defense, great offense, and if the Gulls can have everything hitting on all cylinders, then I feel they would do great tonight. Matt, the Newport Gulls have been the only team that have really given the Pilgrims trouble this season. They won their first game in Cardians Field in franchise history last night. They look to win the first series against the Newport Gulls in franchise history here tonight. The keys to the game for the Pilgrims to walk off with a win here and go to their first championship series. Thomas Jenkins need to, needs to be Thomas Jenkins tonight. He needs to come out, throw effectively, have the curveball work, and uh, couple it with a, the great fastball that he has. And the offense needs to be able to jump ahead early like they have been, but continue to hit as the game goes on. They've gotten their runs in the first three innings, and other than that, they've scored two runs after the first three runs after the first three innings of the first two games. They need So they need to just keep hitting, keep scoring, keep putting pressure on the goals, pitching staff, go through pitchers. Who is going to come out on top here tonight? Will it be the Newport Gulls, the perennial championship contenders, the five-time Faye Vincent Cup winners? Or will the impossible dream season continue for the Plymouth Pilgrims as they went 31-11 and in the regular season? And they right now stand at 3-1 and in the postseason. The Sanford Mainers await. Game three here in the Southern Division Championship Series is up next.